Hi guys, welcome to this week's My Hacks. My name's Adam Cooper. If you're new to our YouTube channel, we make videos all about the fun and cool things you can do in and around Halifax. This week we've come back to Sports Hall of Fame, where we're going to be checking out the Halifax Sports Heritage Walk. So, let's go check it out. So, the, um, just before we start looking at the actual exhibit itself, and there's the course you can actually walk, um, I just want to tell you the easiest way to get into the Sports Hall of Fame is if you come off Carmichael, come into the box office, you'll see these big blue signs behind me that say No Scotia Sports Hall of Fame, which for mission, that's the best way to actually get up and look at the exhibits there, and there's lots of cool stuff there. Now we're going to go and check out the um, Nova Scotia historical walks that are happening, but if you ever want to just come and see a lot of cool Nova Scotian history all around sport, um, this is a great place. Right now there's an exhibit by Bruce McKinnon um, with lots of his cool artwork that's up. Um, so I definitely recommend you check that out. And there's lots of stories about good old Sidney Crosby and all the achievements he's had. So there's tons of history here and it's all local. So if you like me and you like sports and you just like the kind of history of it, this is a great place to kind of learn about, you know, different people in our community that helped either build sports or, you know, went and competed at the highest level. And I just find whenever I come here, I learn something new. And um, but right now, to talk about the Halifax Sports Heritage War. Uh, we're going to meet Katie, and she's going to tell you what it's all about. Hi, welcome to the Nova Scotia Sport Hall of Fame. We just put together a Halifax Sport Heritage Walk because we wanted to show off some of the great sport heritage sites in Halifax. And once you visit the museum, you can have a chance to walk around all of Halifax and get to know our great city. Um, we have three different loops that we made for you to choose from of differing lengths in different parts of the city. So if you just want to do a quick one hour walk, um, you can easily do our downtown loop in 50 minutes non-stop walking. But you can also take in some of the sites, try some of the activities that we recommend, and really make a day of it. So we put together a little booklet. It has maps. It has all the information about the great sport heritage sites. And in order to tie that into the museum, we actually put together a cool little exhibit that shows you some of the items from the places that we mentioned on the walking tour. So we can go check that out now. So we have our exhibit here with a few items that um, are from the actual sites that you're going to see on the walk. Um, these are all from our collection. I think some of the coolest ones are ones that maybe you wouldn't necessarily think about as sport heritage sites. So the Public Gardens actually has a really long sport history and a lot of different Halifax sport clubs used to meet there um, or even practice their athletic activities there. One of those was the Red Cap Snowshoeing Club and they had a full uniform that they all wore to match. Um, we have the full uniform in our collection, so right now we have the toque on display. Uh, it was a pretty cool club, Halifax's oldest um, sporting club and uh, you can learn more about that when you do the walk and stop by the Public Gardens. We also do have some pretty cool items like this um, score and timekeeping mechanism from the Scotiabank Centre when it used to be called the Halifax Metro Centre. So that's um, in the building that we're in now and it's the beginning and end of the tour. So Gina and I have got our map. We're going to go and we're going to do the downtown walk now which will take about 15 minutes if you did non-stop but probably a couple hours of watching our spend walking out. And we're pretty excited. You start from the Sports Hall of Fame and you end up Sports Hall of Fame which is pretty cool. Gina and I finished our, the actual tour, we did the downtown one like I said earlier. It is a couple of hours, it's just if you do the stuff that you want to enjoy, but it's really fun. Make sure you come and check out the Hall of Fame. If you actually want to do the walk and the Hall of Fame is closed, you can actually visit the website. I'll link it below, the exact page where you can download this map as well. Um, but it's really cool we have a place like this in the city because it's full of history and it's full of sports memorabilia of people locally that have achieved some of the greatest things you can achieve in sport. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you next week. Okay, go. So we just showed you a couple of to do that there. So that's the end of this week's video. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of it. Hit the big round subscribe button so you never miss one of our cool episodes. Don't forget to follow us on all the social media links below. And we've got a couple of videos here we thought you might like to watch.